Hello, 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 hello. Dirty trucking, dirty trucking, dirty trucking. I guess you can see it looks like it's daylight in my apartment. I don't have any lights on except for my little tree lights. And uh, you see I'm sitting here in my pajamas. And uh, I bet you wonder why I'm home. Uh, yeah, thanks for asking. Why am I home? Why am I home? God damn it, I'm going to tell you. For the goddamn tell you why dirty trucking is at home. Dirty trucking got up this morning, took an Uber. Because my dispatcher said I need you to do two runs to the same location today. Told me that yesterday. All right. Dirty truck and I came home, got prepared. Dirty truck and got prepared. Took me an Uber in to work so I can go ahead and make these, get this, get this accomplished. Took a goddamn Uber. Did you hear me? Didn't I say, did I, when, did I say I took an Uber? Took an Uber to work. Get in. Day going good. Day going good. Trucking alone. I went down there to Millbury, Ohio. Did my first load on my way back. Day still going good. Everything going good. Follow live driving, everything going good. God damn it, get back, get the box off, that's going good. Call my dispatcher, the box is lifted, need the dispatcher on the next load to go up to the rail yard, get the other load. Uh, everything's still going good, god damn it, everything's still going good. Did I mention I took an Uber to work to do this? Did I mention that? I just want to make that clear. I took an Uber to work. I spent money of mine to take a goddamn Uber there to work to go do these two trips. Did my dispatcher say, he asked me, said, I wanted you, I want you to do two of these trips today. That's what he told me yesterday. For me to do two. So I said, okay, I'm going to do these two for you. All right. I got you. I got you. Did I mention I took an Uber today? All right. But you see me at home. It's daylight looking in my apartment. It ain't looking like it's dark. You see the sun, the glare of my eyes from the, from outside. Let me let's show you outside how, how daylight it is. Look at that goddamn shit. It's still daylight. I'm I'm up here in my damn apartment. All right. Oh, did I mention I took an Uber to work today? Yeah, yes, goddamn it. Then make sure I put that in. I took a goddamn Uber to work today. They doing good. Now I'm up, going up to the rail yard up there on uh, 8 Mile. Going to the rail yard. All right, we got dispatch on load. Now I remember my dispatcher said he was waiting on something. He was waiting on something about the load. I didn't think it was going to take that goddamn long, and I forgot what the hell he said he was waiting on. So now they got an app where you can sign in. All right, I done, um, first I was in the line to do, do the manual line, uh, sign in, but there was a truck up there having some difficulties. Now he held up the line. We all blowing. We all blowing. We blowing on the horn now. Truck's blowing on the horn. So we get out there trying to get this guy to move along. He got the green light. Then he still ain't moving on. Everybody coming up to me. Why he ain't moved? I don't know. I done went up there and told him he need to move. So now he finally moves. I get on up there. Now, I already inputted my information on the phone, uh, so all I got to do is get in and sign in on thing. Okay, I get an error up there. Uh, call the, uh, you need to have phone assistance. Phone assistance? Okay, well, I'm doing mobile pass, so uh, uh, they already told me location of the box. Let me go on over there. Must be some type of, something going on. I don't know. So, I went on over there. Get over there. The uh, loader went to go get the box, told me, oh, wait a minute, you're not in the system. What you mean I'm not in the system? I'm on a mobile pad. He said, you need to go over there to the problem area. Problem area? What do you mean problem area? What the problem is? Why I got to go to the problem area? I told the guy in front of me that was holding up everybody here to go to the problem area. What you mean I got to go to the damn problem area? He said, you got to go to the problem area. I go to the problem area. I see three more R trucks over there in the problem area. Oh, this looked like a damn problem when I rolled up there. God damn, it looked like a big ass problem. See three more R trucks sitting over there in the problem area with the same kind of chances I got. What the fuck? So I get out, go in, go in the primary, try to sign in on the thing again, see if I can get it to finalize, whatever. Call. You need phone operator assistance. Okay, she, I'm pushing a little button on the phone. Boop, 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 wait on her to get on. Doop, 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 doop. She she comes over to the C B. Pick up the phone. Put the phone. Pick up the phone. I am on the phone. Can't you see you got cameras in here? You see me on the phone. Uh, what the problem is? The problem is the goddamn load had storage fee on the container. $150 storage fee on a container that wasn't paid. Okay, what I got to do? Well, that ain't what you got to do. You got to call a dispatcher. Your dispatcher got to do something. Why well, my dispatcher didn't know this? Uh, so, uh, I'm calling my dispatcher. I got my dispatcher on the phone. I said, before you hang up, let me get the dispatcher on the phone so I can communicate this to him, what he got to do, what need to be done. We got $150 storage fee on this now. Mind you, I'm up there now. It's 11.35. I got up there. 11.35. I still had time to get that load and go back down, back to Ohio and pull that second trip. We get up there, so I'm gonna park it. Ha, da, 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 da. How long is it gonna take for them to get in touch with whoever got to get in touch with to get this? Uh, he's got to call somebody in Chicago. He said he's got to call somebody in Chicago. Okay, that's a phone call. Please put some numbers in. Hello, you got a storage fee. We need to get this taken care. We got drivers up here waiting to pick up your loads, so you want to deliver it. I'm gonna dispatch my drivers on your loads. We need to get this taken care. Of. Uh, so I'm sitting went from 11:35, 12, 12:30. When it got starting to get 12.45, I started getting worried because 1 o'clock, 1.15 is my cutoff. No, 1 o'clock is my cutoff to be able to get that box out of there and attempt to try. No, it's too late. 12.15 is my cutoff about to get that box out of there. 
and get it down back to Ohio and get it delivered before they close at three. So they got 1215, then it was 1238, then it's close to one, calling the dispatcher. Uh, he ain't responding, he hung up the phone. I phone ring, 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 click, click. He hung up the phone. So he's busy. So I called somebody else. Hey, Kid Jeff, what's going on? What's going on? What the problem is? We sitting up here, said it's got a $150 storage fee. Uh, what's the problem is? Uh, this he's this guy not there that I spoke to. Oh, okay. Well, uh, all right. Well, shit. Oh, damn. Now, by then, I done made my decision to get ready to exit. I done, we done set up there. I'm just burning diesel. Now, at this point, when I got ready to leave, I done sat up there almost two hours just running the truck, burning diesel, doing nothing. I'm like, how long does it take for the goddamn pay this damn storage fee? Look like everybody else up there had storage fees. So, you got four storage fees you got to pay. Why your customer didn't know he had storage fees? So, I get off the truck. Because I couldn't get my dispatch on the phone. So I go back in there to the kiosk, try to program it in. Maybe my dispatcher ain't called me yet. Maybe, 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 maybe we got a, got the green light going in there. Let me go ahead and type my stuff in. Do, 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 do. Oh, error. Get on the phone again. Is, is it still showing a, a, a storage fee? Yes, it's still showing a storage fee. Maybe your dispatcher got to call somebody. Well, he's already doing that, but I didn't know it was going to take this long. Okay. I've been up here damn near two hours now. So I walk out. The, the guys, they sitting on their truck throwing their hand up. Thought it was successful when I went in. No, I wasn't successful. I shook my ass. I'm getting out of here. So they going to sit there because, you know, like they, they own their truck. So they, they, they get more money than I do. They own their truck. So they, they can sit there all day. I don't. I need to get more than what they get. So I can eat, even look like I'm getting something. Because like I say, these guys own their truck. I, I don't own I don't own a truck up there. So I don't get that much. So uh, I walked out. I said, well, hey, shit. This time I, I'm fed up now. So as lo and behold, and I get to the gate. Got to get exit out. Now I canceled the mission. That's what they call it. Missions up there at the rail yard. At this rail yard. Mission. I canceled the mission. Sitting up there on the phone, pushing the button. Got to get let, let out now because I ain't got no exit to get out. Now they want to act all, take all day, answer the phone and let me out. You see I'm finna leave out of here. You just see I'm finna leave up out of here. You saw me when I'm sitting over there. Now you see my ass when I'm leaving out here. You got cameras ready. Let my ass out. So she finally gets on the phone. Uh, Hey, I, I need to exit out. I done canceled the mission. Uh, I'm out. So I done left. And lo and behold, don't that always happen when you leave somewhere? All of a sudden, I get a call from the dispatcher. Hey, they finally paid the rent. They paid the storage fee. Oh, I said, well, I'm gone. I'm on my way back. I get it tomorrow. Okay, see you when you get here. <laughs> That's how my day went. When I got there, uh, he had a, he took me off the load before I got there. We well, talk about when to get here. Talk about it. Hey, I don't like wasting my day. Two hours sitting up there doing nothing. You you asked me yesterday to do two loads for you. I took an Uber here to do the two loads. And I only end up doing one load and then sitting two hours burning diesel waiting on somebody to get a storage fee on their load that you dispatched me on. Now, see, this this is what I think. Now, I call these the, everybody's people in this in this scenario. See, the people in, in Chicago, whoever he had to call, okay, them people contacted our people who contacted me to deliver their loads. Now, when your people fail to do something, when you contacted my people that dispatched me, now, I can't deliver your load. Then it interfere with me making my money. I don't like interference with me making my money. Did I man, let, let me, let me, let me, let me take you back to when I left up out of here this morning. I left up out of here, it was dark. Took an Uber to work. Did I tell you that? I took an Uber. I paid for an Uber to go to work, do two loads that my dispatcher asked me to do. <laughs> Uh, look at me now. You see I'm at home? You, this dirt truck at home in the daylight. In the fucking daylight. It's goddamn, what time is it now? It's, it's 4 fucking 25. I got here probably about, mm, I don't even know. Uh, it was probably about, mm, uh, shit. I want to say, mm, uh, I want to say about, uh, three something. Three something. I done went in there, washed my hair, changed, put in my, my pajamas on, and I got a load of clothes in. Eh, it's 4 something. It's daylight. Right now, if I'd have done the second load, I probably would be at the bus stop right now on the way home. But I missed, I missed out on some money because somebody didn't pay their storage fee on the load. How you operating like that? How you got a business going like that? You got a load sitting up here with storage fee on it. You got drivers here waiting to pull your load to get your load down somewhere. They wanted it down there today. Now, I can't get it down there today. You want to know why? Because there was a storage fee on it. You want to know why? Because whoever, whoever dispatched that damn load to our company didn't pay the storage fee. So I asked them, when did the storage fee get on there? They said the storage fee got on there today. Oh, when you're trying to make money, don't all this shit happen, uh, start happening when you're trying to make money. It's like somebody sitting there on the sideline. Oh, she's trying to make some money today. Well, we finna cause a little <laughs> hiccup in her little shit. We, we finna have a, she gonna have a <laughs> little issue today. And so I had an issue today. So I couldn't get that load to get down there. So now I'm mad. I'm sitting up there just running the truck and I'm pissed. So I go back down there. So he, he took me off the load. It, it's the best, best thing to do, take me off that load. Cause you had me come in here to do that load. I wasn't looking to do that load tomorrow. I was supposed to do that load today. Cause you asked me to do two loads today. And I came in. I took an Uber. Did I tell you that? I took a goddamn Uber to come in and do the load today. So, 
Long story short, I'm at home today. I got another load, but the day didn't go the way I planned. So this dirt truck and at home making this video on how I took an Uber to work to do two loads and I only did one because somebody didn't pay their storage fee and I couldn't get my second trip in and they thought I was supposed to sit up there and run the truck for two or three hours before they get that taken care of. And no, uh-uh, we can go park this truck and, uh, hey, you find me. I, I wasn't expecting him to find me nothing else. I was going to go up there and get it tomorrow. But since he did find me something else, oh, well, we'll dirty truck in the home. It's daylight. Did, did I mention I took an Uber to work? This dirty truck now. Peace out.